Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to use Windows 7 local users and groups to create user accounts locally on your Windows 7 operating system. So let's start by opening computer management. I like to click on the start button and then right click on computer, left click on manage, and this opens computer management. Inside of computer management we have local users and groups. If we expand that and highlight users, this is a listing of the users that currently have user accounts on this computer. You will see that administrator and guest exist, but they have a white circle with a down arrow. That means that they're there, but they are currently disabled. We have active user accounts for BK-CL1, BKLab, and Rocky. To create a new user account, if we right click on users, left click on new user, we can give our user a name. So let's create a user, Adam Sandler. Full name, Adam Sandler. Description, funny man. We'll provide a password. Remember that passwords in Windows 7 by default need to be seven characters long at a minimum and contain three of four character types. The four character types are lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and special characters. From here we have some options that we can set such as user must change password at next logon which is always a good idea to select that. So the end user chooses a password that is near and dear to them and they'll have a much greater chance of remembering it. Or you can specify that the user cannot change password. And you may want to specify password never expires if you have password policies such as a password must be changed every 42 days which is currently the default. Or you could specify that the account is disabled which means it's not active. You can't log on to this account even if you know the username and the password. So we're going to start out with account is disabled and we'll click on the create button. And then we'll close this and you'll see that Adam Sandler now exists in our local users and groups but he's disabled. So to enable Adam Sandler right click on Adam Sandler, left click on properties and now uncheck account is disabled and if this individual is showing up for the first time you might want to specify user must change password at next logon. Other things you can specify in local users and groups on a user account properties is the member of tab. Here you can define which security groups this user is a member of and by default they are a member of the users group. If you click on add, you can add them to a user group. And if you're not sure of user groups on the computer, if you click on advanced and find now, you'll see here are some user groups. So let's join this user to the data users user group. And then we'll click on OK. And we've now joined Adam Sandler to the data users user group. Additionally, there is a profile tab. And on the profile tab, you can define a path to this individual's profile. It could be either on the computer, so it would be something like C colon slash, or it could be network based. So it would be slash slash server slash share. You could also define a logon script if you are going to map network drives or do other user maintenance at logon and you could create a home folder path as well which would be data sharing or private data sharing on a network file server making it easy to manage and back up nightly. So this concludes my presentation on how to use local users and groups which is part of computer management to create local user accounts on Windows 7. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.